I'm John Petrucci at Guitar Center. My signature chorus pedal from TC Electronics is called the Dreamscape, and it is a chorus and modulation pedal. It's my first signature pedal. I've never done one before, and it's TC Electronics' first signature pedal. So uh, we're happy to introduce this together. As far as my involvement in the design of the pedal, it, it started with a conversation with Tor from TC Electronic. And we talked about, you know, what, what I would do. Well, I would make it so that it could accept line level and also you can use it as a stomp box as well, you know. As far as what I had to have in, in the pedal, there's a couple things. I mean, just starting with the construction of the pedal it has to be roadworthy. Um, I do a lot of touring. And you know, I know people that are going to use this pedal are going to put it on their pedal boards. They're going to stomp on it and jump from the other side of the stage onto it. You don't want it to fall apart. Um, I had to have, again, going in that sort of boutique-y modded version, true bypass, better components, you know, really clean, uh, very quiet, and, and all that good stuff. So it couldn't be a noisy pedal. It couldn't suck your tone. It had to be something that was transparent. I have a clean sound set up, right? Putting on uh, in the first position the chorus sound, turning the pedal on, you can, you know, pretty much with the uh, the dials like set to 12 o'clock, you can already hear the richness of that sound. It has this sort of swimmy, appealing chorus sound. There's nothing about it that that sounds edgy or annoying. It just it enhances the sound, and you can hear the modulation. And you know, it sounds complex, but it also sounds very smooth, right? So the second sound in here um, is a flanger sound that, again, you can utilize uh, using a clean guitar sound. Right. So it's not like a, a big swishy flanger. It's sort of a, a subtle flanger. And you can utilize it for just a different type of sound when you're doing intros to songs. <laughs> So even from this position, you know, from this, you can, you can find some sort of in-between sound. Very easily. Right. Now this is the, uh, the flanger sound and it has a sort of rich modulation chorus he sent. So the third effect in here, the vibrato sound, is I guess sort of in the direction of uh, like a Leslie-ish thing because again that could be something I might use as an interlude or something. And if you want to tweak it from there and maybe not make it so sort of swishy, you can do that very easily. So we made a whole series of sounds just made for distortion. And uh, it doesn't mean you can't use those on clean or use the clean on distortion, but it was just the direction we went to. So, uh, you know, if I just switch channels on the, uh, the boogie. Um, you know, that's just the amp dry. Now, put on the chorus and it's even more so. Right? So it's not very swimmy, it just kind of adds some texture to the sound. And, uh, and then finally, in the last position, there's a spot for tone print. So if there's something that you like online and you want to download that onto the pedal uh, using the USB or using your iPhone to beam it through the pickups, you can do that. And so you even have more possibilities as well. <laughs>